Let's have a review of our concept of NGT tube insertion. And I'm gonna give you exactly the easiest way for you to remember the concept of this topic. If you wanna know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational contents to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I upload my nursing educational contents two to three times in a week, so don't miss that. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody, for our today's discussion, we're going to discuss NG tube insertion this is actually one of your requests and i want to give thanks to all of you guys who keep on requesting for nursing subjects or topics that you want us to discuss so thank you so much okay if you have other requests any topics that you want us to create a reviewer let me know in the comment section below today's video i'm going to teach you exactly how are you going to remember and review the concepts of our ngt tube ngt is quite a broad topic so i'm planning to create more discussions about that in the coming days in order for me to do that i will switch back to my pc and i'll see you guys in a bit all right so welcome guys ating formal discussion ng ating nasogastric intubation techniques for insertion and feeding yes so um i'll be putting some of the links where i get all of these information and also for you to find out and if you want to do a self-study it will be very helpful um, to you, okay? So, uh, medyo broad tong, um, itong ating discussion ng NGT. So, I'm planning to create um, another discussion about naman yun sa removal, you know, actual feeding and monitoring ng iyong NGT. To begin with, let's have the objectives of our mojo for today. Well, we're going to define some of the terms related to your NGT. We're also going to discuss about the indication, contraindication, risks and complications, nursing considerations, techniques for insertion, and you guys, we're going to have a short quiz. So you get to listen to me, Bobby, okay? All right, so let's define nasogastric intubation. Now, this is a procedure in which a thin plastic tube is inserted into a nostril or into the nose trail toward the esophagus and down into the stomach. Once an NG tube is properly placed and secured, healthcare providers such as the nurses can deliver food and medicine directly to the stomach or obtain substances from it. The technique is often used to deliver food and medicine to a patient when they are unable to eat or swallow. This is my indication niya is kapag may mga dysphagia or inability of the patient to swallow or to eat. Okay? Now, NG tube are usually short and are used mostly for suctioning stomach contents and secretions. Okay, let's have the indication. By inserting an NG tube, you are gaining an entry or direct connection to the stomach and its contents. Therapeutic indications for NG intubation include Okay, one, we have your gastric decompression. The nasogastric tube is connected to the suction to facilitate decompression by removing stomach contents. Gastric decompression is indicated for bowel obstruction and paralytic ileus and when surgery is performed on the stomach or intestine. Ano pang isang indication natin? Aspiration of gastric fluid content, either for lavage or obtaining a specimen for analysis. It will also allow for drainage or lavage and drug overdosage or poisoning. Next, feeding and administration of medication. Introducing passage into the GI tract will enable a feeding and administration of various medications. NG tubes can also be used for enteral feeding initially. Next is prevention of vomiting and aspiration. In trauma settings, ND tubes can be used to aid in prevention of vomiting and aspiration, as well as for assessment of GI bleeding. Next, we're going to talk about contraindication. Nasogastric intubation is contraindicated in the following. Una, recent nasal surgery and severe mid-phase trauma. Bakit kaya? Ang gigigila kasi, syempre itong portal of entry mo, dito, dito ka mag-a-access. Kung may trauma dyan, mapapasok mo ba yung 
YouTube, hindi. Now, these are the absolute contraindication for ND intubation due to possibility of inserting the tube intracranially. Simplihin natin to, yung mga surgery o yung mga severe mid-face trauma o yung mga maxillofacial trauma. Hindi mo yan pwedeng lagyan ng mga, mga involved sa vehicular accident. Mostly those patients, uh, kapag na-damage yung face o merong maxillofacial trauma, mga kagaya na sabi ko, you cannot really perform perform your ND tube, NG tube insertion coagulation abnormality esophageal varices recent banding of esophageal varices alkaline ingestion next what are the risks and complications of your ng tube now as with most procedures ng tube insertion is not all beneficial to the patient as certain risks and complications are involved what are those or what are these risks and complications that i'm talking about okay here are some the main complication of ng tube insertion include aspiration discomfort a conscious patient may feel a little discomfort while ng tube is passed through the nostril and into the stomach which can induce gagging or vomiting a suction should always be present and ready to be used in this case ano pang iba trauma the tube can injure the tissue inside the sinuses a throat esophagus or stomach if not properly inserted you're gonna insert that to the patient's body absolutely Absolutely, you're gonna introduce uh, trauma to the mucosal lining. Okay, so just be aware about that. What else? Wrong placement. Those are the risks. Unwanted scenarios such as wrong placement of an NG tube into the lungs will allow food and medicine pass through it and that can be fatal to the patient. Ito yung example ng x-ray mo kung saan meron tayong maling NG tube um, placement. Napunta siya sa baga. Nakikita mo to, ma'am. Ayan na. One good example. Now, there's other complications. This could also involve the other complications of your NG tube tube insertion or ng tube is abdominal cramping or swelling from feedings that are too large diarrhea regurgitation of the food or medicine a tube obstruction or blockage to perforation or tear and tubes coming out of place and causing additional complications so those are your risks and complications next an ng tube is meant to be used only for a short period of time, be mindful of this. Why? Because prolonged use can lead to conditions such as sinusitis, infections, and ulcerations on the tissue of your sinuses, throat, esophagus, or stomach, okay? So this is advisable for a short period of time. Wala ka naman nakita pasyenteng talagang, talagang six years na siya naka-NG tube mayroon. She cannot be one from two, so... Shoot ka, tandaan mo yan. Next, ano yung mga nursing considerations natin when we talk about or when we trying to prepare or introduce NG tube to our patients. First, we need to provide oral and skin care. Importante yon. Give mouth rinses and apply lubricant to the patient's lips and nostril. Using a water-soluble lubricant, lubricate the catheter until where it touches the nostrils because the client's nose may become irritated and dry. Ano pa? Verify NG tube placement. Always verify if the NG tube placed is in the stomach by aspirating a small amount of stomach contents. An x-ray study is the best way to verify placement. Again, an confirmatory na NG tube placement mo? X-ray. Now, you always need to wear gloves. Gloves must always be worn while starting an NG tube because potential contact with the patient's blood or body fluids increases especially with inexperienced operator. Face and eye protection. On the other hand, face and eye protection may also be considered if the risk for vomiting is high. Trauma protocols for all team members to wear gloves, face and eye protection and gowns. Mga PPEs mo. Okay, next up, we have procedure steps. Ito na yung techniques of insertion. I, I, I really suggest for you guys to check out the links that I'll be providing in the description box. Makakatulong yun sa inyo para mas lalo mo siyang maintindihan, ha? And syempre, panoorin mo rin tong video na to. Lamvern, ishare mo na rin, baby love. <laughs> o bago ko makalimutan, this is actually one of your requests. Maraming maraming salamat po pala sa mga nag nag-like, nag-share, at talaga nag-comment. 
isa ito sa mga request itong NG tube insertion NG tube concept so ito na siya Lover. all right so step by step natin to actually i have 10 steps so kinompress ko siya sa 10 steps only because i just really want you to to narrow the concept ma malala nyo sa ko share natin napakahaba nito nursing fundamentals natin to. <laughs> Nirarat them natin to. May mga rasyonale pa. Pero, gagawin natin siyang concise for now. Okay? Now, step number one. Wash your hands. Introduce yourself to the patient and clarify their identity. Explain the procedure to the patient and gain their consent to proceed. Okay? Importante yon Identifying yourself to the patient and identifying the patient. Ayaw mo naman magbigay ng NG tube sa pasyenteng hindi naman talaga talagang inadvise for NG tube ng doctor. Nagigigil ako sa'yo. And then, what else? Always wash your hands, of course, for anong rasyonale nito to minimize the spread of infection. Okay. Next, step number two, gather your equipment. Ano-ano ba yung mga equipments mo dito? You have your gloves, you have your fine bore nasogastric tube. This is only used for feeding or nasogastric Riles tube, size 16, all other indications. Ano pa mga gamit mo dito? Water-based lubricant, um, syringe, bile bag, securing devices or tape, cup of water, pH indicator paper, anesthetic throat spray. Na mind you guys, pag gamit na anesthetic throat spray, there's actually a limited evidence to suggest that a local anesthetic spray may reduce the gag reflex during NG tube insertion. It is not used by all health boards. You should check your local guidelines for whether this is recommended or not. If so, different facility have their own SOPs, mga standard operating procedures. Now, step number three. For this procedure, the patient should be positioned, ito, position yung nga pasyente ito, tandaan mo to. the patient should be positioned on the bed upright and facing forward. Put on your gloves. Uh, prone, not supine, upright, upright, and facing forward. Step number four. Estimate the length of the tube to be inserted. Now, how are you gonna do this, nurses? Yung mga landmark mo, ha? Tatlo. Tip of the nose. And ito, tandaan mo, chronological din to, ma'am. Kailangan umpisa mo siya sa nose and then saka magpa-proceed to the ear lobe and then to the siphus sternum. Ito, tandaan mo yung screenshot mo na, lover. Next, number five. Now, you need to lubricate the tip of the tube and begin to insert through one of the nostrils. If any resistance is encountered, change to the other nostrils. Tandaan, if there's any resistance, you get a withdraw, okay? And try to the other side. Your patient will usually be awake during this procedure to ensure they are not experiencing too much discomfort. Step six. Ask the patient to indicate when the tube is at the back of the throat or if they have had anesthetic spray, ask the patient to open their mouth and look for the end of the tube. Step number seven, ask the patient to take a mouthful of water and as they swallow, advance the tube to the desired length. Step number eight, check the tube placement with these methods. So there's actually a bunch of methods where you can do, where you can check if the tube is properly in place. Number one, you, you can aspirate stomach contents. The characteristics natin na cloudy, green, tan, off-white, bloody, or brown. It is not always is visually possible to distinguish between stomach and respiratory aspirates. Special note mga nurses, uh, the small diameters of the small NG tubes make aspirations problematic. The tubes themselves collapse when suction is applied via the syringe. Thus, contents cannot be aspirate. But kung hindi ka naging successful sa aspiration mo ng stomach contents, well, you can check the pH of the aspirate, okay? The measuring the pH of the stomach aspirate is considered more accurate than visual inspection. Stomach aspirate generally has a pH range of, remember, 0 to 4, meaning ang pH level natin 0 to 4 is that alkaline or acidic. Guys, remember na ang main content ng ating stomach is hydrochloric acid, okay? So, naturally, ito po ay acidic, okay? Kailangan may dalawang idea ka kung ano-ano yung mga aspirate na possible na makuha mo. Kapag respiratory contents ang na-aspirate mo, malalaman mo yon kapag chinik mo yung pH level niya, it is more of like gearing towards the alkaline side. Okay? So, ang pH mo should be more than 7. Alam ko may mga pH 
uh, strips tayo na ginagamit, i-check mo na lang yun, depende yun sa manufacturer. Ay, may mga color change, tas may mga numerical um, um, equivalent sila. So, inject 30 ml of air into the stomach and listen with the stethoscope for the whoosh of air into the stomach. The small diameter of some NG tubes may make it difficult to hear air entering the stomach. Now, there's some of the notes. The small diameter of some NG tubes may make it difficult to hear air entering the stomach. Well, ang pinaka-confirmatory naman kasi natin talaga is yung x-ray. Now, the x-ray visualization is the only method that is considered positive. Makikita mo ito siya. Yes, normal yan. Normal yan. Pag nakita mo na itong tube na to napunta dito napunta dito ay hindi mo na sa pool yung akanyang tummy tummy napunta ka sa vaga ganyan next Step number nine. If satisfied, the pH is correct and the tube is draining gastric fluid, secure the tube with tape and attach a bile bag to allow drainage. Step number 10, which is the last step, remove gloves and dispose in a clinical waste bin. Ensure your patient is comfortable. Thank them and wash your hands. Taray! Siyempre, importante rin dito yung documentation natin ha. Huwag kakalimutan. Next, short quiz natin to mga nurses. Ready ka na ba? I hate I have here 10 items and I'll give you 5 minutes to answer them all. I'll be back shortly, okay?
Alright, I am back. Kumusta ang exam natin you guys? Nag-enjoy ba kayo? Tell me nga pala sa dulo nito kung ilan yung score nyo ha. You find the exam. Is it hard? Is it easy? Is it difficult? You let me know, okay? Now, let's start. Mag-rationalize na tayo. Let's read question number one. The nurse is caring for a client with a chest tube, turns the client to the side, and the chest tube accidentally disconnects from the water seal chamber. Which initial nursing action should the nurse take? Number one, call the healthcare provider. Two, place the tube in a bottle of sterile water immediately replace the chest tube system place a sterile dressing over the disconnection site the answer is number two yes if the chest drainage system is disconnected the end of the tube is placed in a bottle of sterile water held below the level of the chest the hcp may need to be notified but this is not an initial action the system is replaced if it breaks or cracks or if the collection chamber is full, placing a sterile dressing over the disconnection site will not prevent complication resulting from the disconnection. Answer number two. Alright, number two question. The registered nurse is preparing to insert a nasogastric tube in an adult client. To determine the accurate measurement of the length of the tube to be inserted, the nurse should take which action? Ang sagot dyan, nurse says, number three. Place the tube at the tip of the nose and measure by extending the tube to the what ear lobe and then down to the siphoid, siphoid process. Bisang yoko girl, okay. Number three. The nurse is assessing for correct placement of a nasogastric tube. The nurse aspirates the stomach contents, check the gastric pH, and notes a pH of 7.35. Based on this and Based on this information, which action should the nurse take at this time? Ano nang next step natin kapag 7.5, 7.35 yung pH na na-aspirate mo, okay? The answer is, if the nasogastric tube is in the stomach, the pH of the contents will be acidic. Gastric aspirates have acidic pH values and should be 3.5 or lower. A pH of 7.35 indicates a neutral pH, which may indicate that the tube is no longer in the stomach. Based on this information, the nurse should call the healthcare provider to request a prescription for just radiograph or determine if placement is accurate. Retesting. Ano to? Call the healthcare provider to request a prescription for a chest radiograph. Okay, that's the answer. Retesting the pH using another strip is unnecessary and checking for placement by auscultating for air injected into the tube is not a definitive method of checking for tube placement. The nurse should not document that the tube is in the correct place because the data indicate this may not be the case. Okay? So, number four. After inserting tube, the nurse would check for proper placement by which method? Anong sagot nyo dito? So, number four. Letter C. Alright. A gurgling or swishing sound heard with a stethoscope over the stomach when air is injected into the tube. Answer is letter C. Okay, number five na tayo. What are the landmarks in measuring the length of your nasogastric tube needed to reach the patient's stomach? The answer is bridge of the nose to ear lobe to sternum. Okay, approximately 55 to 65 centimeters in an adult patient. Next question. When you should stop advancing the nasogastric tube? So, um, enumeration to five circumstances. Okay, hindi ko inaasahan na makukuha mo to pero ma-review na lang natin para na-touch din natin kahit pa Paano, ha? These are on reaching the measured distance if the tube emerges in the oral cavity, if the patient experiences respiratory distress or inability to speak, nasal hemorrhage, and significant resistance. Okay, so you need to withdraw. You need to stop advancing your NG tube. Next, number seven. After inserting the nasogastric tube, nurse need to listen for the blank sound by using a stethoscope to ensure the tube is inserted into the stomach. Anong sagot dito? A letter D. Okay, whooshing sound. Okay, number eight. A nurse is checking the nasogastric tube position of the client receiving a long-term therapy of omeprazole by aspirating the stomach contents to check for the pH level. Yung pinaka-acidic dito, 
perfect. Number nine, true or false, an ND tube is meant to be used only for a long period of time. Keyword, long period, ba? Diba sabi ko, short period of time. This makes this statement false. Number 10, true or false, x-ray visualization is the only method that is considered positive. The answer, x-ray confirmatory true all right so guys you let me know how many items are uh, what's your score on the comment section below huh thank you so much for listening and for watching this video uh nursing video education <laughs> the nursing education contents with me please like share and subscribe to my channel and you you're already here so you might as well subscribe baby okay so i'll be uploading uh the second uh the chapter two chapter two yes the part two of this discussion about ng tube uh, on the coming days so please watch that out click mo na yung notif bell para naman alam na alam mo na at tulungan mo ko ipamalita mo na to sa mga kabaro nating nurses dyan okay thank you so much you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one having grown my channel you're ready here you might as well subscribe hashtag team cool talk give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys thank you put them down in the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here let's connect follow Follow me on my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabby. I'll see you again, baby. Mwah.